I am, I feel so grateful to be here with these wonderful artists and the wonderful curator, Jane Kirkland, and to have this opportunity to show the work. And this is one of the things that East End Gallery does. It really gives an artist a chance to have a really great workout. I can't think of anything better. Um, I am so privileged to be in this room with Jim uh, because his work is the found object, he makes it more nuanced by saying the discarded object, but photography can function in the same manner, and that what we look for, some photographers, would be the found scene. So we're looking around and we're using something that already exists, and we're putting a frame around it in a very special way. Now there are some photographers that do staged photography, the simplest uh, version of the stage photography is you go to Sears, you get your portrait done, <laughs> they're going to sit you down, they're going to show the lights, they're going to arrange you, and that would be a form of stage photography. Or in the case of this, which I did not do, somebody would be dragging a mattress through the woods, or a friend of mine who's a wonderful photographer took multicolored bottles and threw them on uh, a beautiful scene to make a commentary about um, rubbish. Um, I don't work that way. My working process is to go out on a treasure hunt and scout, and I will find certain scenes that will then give me a concept. And once I have that concept, it could be homeless in the Hamptons, it could be Monet in the Hamptons, um, or it could be the concept of commuters. Now, with the idea of the commuters, for me to be a commuter, you're not in the real world anyway. You are stretched, it's a fun house. Um, you're half there, half not, not there. And how would I go about being able to relate that particular experience? So once I get an idea, I then follow it up. Um, I work with several digital cameras. I work with a large format printer and I frame. So from beginning to end, I do all my own work. I do not send it out because I want control over the, uh, over the final uh, product. Now, oftentimes if you're a digital camera artist, people will assume that you're photoshopping and putting various things into, into the work. But because I'm talking about found scenes, I do not use this technique. It's a, it's a viable, valuable technique for many artists, but I really do the found scene. Uh, so for example, in my homeless for, uh, in a homeless in the Hamptons, um, I was walking around actually in the preserve behind where I live, and I came upon a series of mattresses and beer bottles and all sorts of things, and I took pictures of all of them, and then I called the town to complain. <laughs> And <laughs> yes. get your photo first. That's right. I got all the photos in first. And um, then I saw this mattress of all the different ones. I took a lot of different mattress pictures. But this one, I went, oh my goodness, it looks like there's a person in there. And I backed up, and the sun hit a tree. And you can see, if you come up close later, you can see that there's one tree, a light colored tree in the front, and the sun hit it. And I know my technique as a photographer, so if I stop down, I can make, and shoot into the sun, I can make artifacts. Those are the little rainbows, the flare, they're everything they tell you in photographic school not to do. <laughs> so I thought this was so interesting, I turned around and I shot directly into the sun, and lo and behold, a artifact appeared and it crossed the tree. Now my background is Jewish, so I don't have any particular <laughs> reason for seeing a cross, but that's what happened, and I thought it was an incredible commentary about our Judaic Christian ethics that we want to do good for people and we want to make sure the homeless are taken care of and yet despite the best of our ideas we still have homeless and the artifacts of the homeless were all in the preserve uh, behind me so uh, I took a picture of that and um, the Monet in um, the Monet in the Hamptons again was the the algae, the water, the blue sunlight hitting the water, and using a camera itself that records light in a certain way. And I just want to say one more thing about this camera that I was using. It's a Sony Nex 7. It's a mirrorless camera. It has 24 megapixels. And there was some problems with the camera, so they gave, they gave us new firmware. But because I was getting such unusual effects from my camera. I have not updated it because I like whatever quirks or the, some of the strange things that it produces in itself. So thank you very much.